Hi. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. We have a holiday. My boys are home since it's Columbus Day. So I know many of you hopefully are also getting a day off, but I could not wait to share something new and exciting with you. So today we got an early launch of our 60th anniversary trend collection. And as a director, we get this really cool box called our Buzz Kit, where we get the products before anybody else. So I have been sitting on this box for a little while until I could announce it. In fact, I can't even show you everything that's in this box because some of them won't be launched until November 1st. But I did want to show you what I could. So it's always exciting when this arrives on my door. Let's see what it says. I, All right, cue the confetti, Mary Kay. You can see we have a beautiful sheet. All right, that's all I can show you of the actual box. I have to take some things out. Can't show it all to you. But um, this is a really neat flyer of the products that I get to share with you today. Let's see, am I showing that okay? All right, it has this gorgeous compact with our 60th anniversary logo on it. So I'm gonna take it out of the box. I'm literally unboxing this for you in front of you. I have not played with these products yet. So you get to see my first experimentation and, and discovery. I love that this compact has a mirror. I wasn't sure if it was going to. So I'm pretty excited about that. It does have a mirror. It has four pretty shades and they are called pink diamonds is the lightest one. Iconic pink is kind of a dusty roseish rose color, legacy lilac and burgundy crown. So I'm just going to start playing with the color a little bit and show you how, what would be probably my like go to of how to apply it. Uh, first I'm going to do the pink diamonds. So I'm going to do this light one right here. And just so you know, these are available for consultants to order today. Ooh, this is very opaque. It actually, it looks kind of white. I didn't realize how like luminous and opaque. It almost looks like a mermaid color. This is like the like the dress that I wore to seminar this year that had the really pretty like opal. So it's got kind of pinks and purple shimmer to it. But it's not glittery. So I really think anyone any age can wear this. So I'm just putting it on that inner inside of my eye right here. Lower lid in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit right here since it's so bright that actually just gives your eyes like a little bit of youthful like a lift to it and then right underneath the arch of my eyebrow to again just kind of lift and highlight i may put it on a little bit darker than usual just so that it shows up for the camera well but these i can already tell you're going to be able to layer these so you could do this very sheer if the colors look a little bit intimidating to you let's see how pigmented they are all right, so that's a little bit of the light shade. Um, so this will be available on our websites tomorrow, but I will say a lot of consultants are going to be doing early ordering because they will sell out. I have no doubt. We've had a lot of products selling out. Um, word has spread. <laughs> consultants are stocking up because this is our winter look. So this is going to be part of our product launch all the way through December. So consultants are going to stock up. So make sure to let your consultant know if you want these so she can order them before they're gone. So now I'm doing that pink. It's iconic pink. It's a beautiful little dusty rose. Now this one's matte. This does not have a lot of shimmer to it, it looks like. I'm just going to put that there in the middle of my lower lid. And you can apply these looks are these colors with and make a lot of different looks and you don't even have to use, you know, all four colors every time. That is for sure. All right. Now I'm going to do the purple legacy lilac and I'm going to do that here on the lower portion, the outer corner, a little bit right here. 
I'm probably going to end up doing this as my mid-tone too, but let me kind of wait and see. Okay, so that's those three colors. And I used just the, um, the placement brush for the lighter shade. And then I love this extra little blending brush for my mid-tones. And then I'm going to use the eye crease brush with the darkest color right there. Burgundy Crown. What a cool name. We love crowns in Mary Kay. We love crowns in Mary Kay. Because you are royalty, my friend. All right, so I'm just going to put this on that outer edge. I do kind of like a sideways little V. And then I'm going to carry it on the top part of the natural crease. I like to carry it a little bit high so that when my eyes open, you can still see the color. If you only do it below the crease, depending on your eye shape, all of the color disappears when your eyes are open. But that can that seems intimidating to people. And then they're like, why does it look like I don't have any makeup on in, in my pictures? And I used to do that. And I realized it's because all of my makeup was on the lower lid because I was too afraid to carry it up higher. So I'm doing the same thing on this side, burgundy crown up here. Yeah, this is also a matte. So I love mixing mattes with shimmer because I love having that hint of shimmer on that lower portion and right up here. But I like to keep the middle, just in general, I like to do more matte shades for that. I don't always, like yesterday I did, uh, you may have seen on Facebook, I did this uh, wine country look and it had rustic as my mid-tone, like all here. And that looked really pretty too. And with these Chroma Fusion, you don't have to be afraid of having some of the shimmer because they're specifically designed not to look crepey or anything like that. So I'm actually going to do the, the uh, iconic pink and do a little bit more of that. And I'm going to go, I'm going to carry that up here because if I put a lot of bright color here, especially if I do a shimmer, it actually makes my eyelid look hooded. And so I do like to have at least a mid-tone, nothing super dark, but I do like to have a mid-tone here. So like an everyday, I use um, hazelnut or sweet cream, something here on that mid area. So that's just kind of layering over and then I'm blending together. Just blending together. And I do like to have, I didn't grab one, but I do like to have like a Kleenex or a clean washcloth. Oh, here's something. I've got a, a paper towel right here. Um, so I do like to kind of brush off. Now, we our brush cleaner is awesome, but it's wet. So I don't like to use it when I'm in the middle of a look. I do that at the end. And then that way, by the time I go to use them again, they're clean and dry. So I'm just blending. And you might have noticed that I did kind of like a paint by numbers. If you just layer everything over the top of the light shade, then when you blend it together, it just turns into one color. So you lose all that definition. So just for fun, now that I've blended, I'm going to go over and just add a little bit more right here of that pretty pink diamonds. I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing these colors a lot. And then even over the lower lid here, just to kind of give it a little bit of a pop over that purple and pink just right there. Okay. So can you see that? So that's the look. And then what I will do is probably use either a black or a brown or a gray, um, probably brown as my eyeliner. But then here's something that's really cool with our eyeliners. Um, you can't, once they like, they kind of set, they're waterproof and smudge proof. So when you first put them on, you can blend them and smudge them a little bit. But then once they're set, they don't, they don't do that. So when I'm doing mine, I do a little bit and then I get my smudge brush. And I'm going to take that burgundy color, that dark burgundy color, and I'm actually going to layer over the top of it and then smudge it out just to bring that color into the definition of my lashes. and kind of give it, give my eyes a little bit more definition. Okay, so you can see the difference with and without eyeliner. Either one is okay, but I like I like having a little bit of eyeliner. It helps to define my lashes 
it helps to shape my eyes, see how it just kind of makes my eyes pop a little bit more, look a little bit more awake. And then some mascara. I'm using the Fanorama. Hopefully you can hear me even though I'm covering my mouth. I know my computer sometimes does not pick up sound very well if I am not in just the right spot. Okay, so there's, so I definitely think this eye looks better. You can vote, you can tell me what you think. For the sake of time, I'll just stick with that one eye for now. And let's see, what else do I have? Okay, so the other thing that we have um, that I got in my special box is the Velvet Lip Crayon. So it comes in two shades. Pink Rose is the lighter shade. And then Visionary Pink, let's see, is the darker shade. So this is, I think, Visionary Pink. Yeah, so this is the darker shade. And my order will probably be delivered. Um, I'm going to be placing my order today or tomorrow. So I'll, ha I'll have the other colors to get to play with more. So this is Visionary Pink. You can see how big it is. It's kind of bigger than it looks in the pictures, I think. Although I guess, yeah, I guess if you look at the comparison. All right. So I'm going to see how this is. I've never used this before. This is Velvet. What's it, what is it called? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Velvet Lip Crayon. Oh yeah, this goes on very smooth, very easily. Okay, so it goes on smooth it feels very moisturizing. So I'm gonna, while I show you one or two more things, we'll see how it, how it feels after it's been on for a minute. But I like, so you could use this to define your lips or you could use it like I just did as your full lip color. You could even do a gloss over it. This is the bag. Oh, I love this bag. Let me see. Oh, wow. This is nice. This will hold a lot. I think our whole brush set would fit in here. Oh yeah. 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 I like this a lot. Okay. So this is a purchase with purchase. You can actually get this bag for just $5. Um, with the, uh, with when you get, let's see here, $5 with a purchase of $50 or more in products from the limited edition 60th anniversary trend collection. Okay, so this is a purchase with purchase. When you spend at least 50, you can get this bag for only five. And I will tell you, this is a really nice bag. It's kind of a faux leather in the front, velvet in the back. Look how big this is. This is gonna hold a lot, but it collapses. So if you don't have it totally full, it won't take up more space than you need it to. And then it has this beautiful, oh, look at that anniversary charm. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Next month, you'll be getting the lookbook with all of the things that I'm not allowed to show you yet. Another thing that we're getting with this collection that I don't have yet is the nail polishes. Okay. So we've got a pink and a purple, very on trend colors. Love them. Cannot wait to try them because our Mary Kay nail polishes have always been my favorite. We do not have them all the time. They are limited edition. Sometimes the whole year goes by and we don't have a single nail polish. But when we get them and they have a color that I like, I stock up because our nail polishes last forever. They don't chip. I don't know what's special about our formula. I, I have no idea what our formulation is compared to others. I've never really done the research on it. All I know is that as soon as mine come in, I'm going to go and get my gel nail toes off, toenail polish off and have this color. In fact, I'd love your vote. Okay, so should I do pink or purple? I don't usually get manicures, but I'm contemplating. And I've seen some really cool pictures. You'll be seeing lots of posts from the consultants. And um, there are some really cool posts that Mary Kay is already putting out. And let's see what it shows in the book, if it shows any of it. I saw where they had like the purple nails with the pink tips. So maybe I'll do something like that. That's that's not a norm for me, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Okay, I don't see it in the book. So we'll have to post the pictures 
from the company. And maybe once y'all have it, you can show me how you do it. So I would love your feedback. Should I do pink on my fingernails and purple on my toes or vice versa? Or do like the thing where is that still in style where you have like pink and then just the one or two fingers is purple? What's the trend now with the whole nail polish thing? I don't know. So I would love for you to tell me. Um, I'm really excited to try those. Okay. So the lip color is on. I like it. It's a little bit, once it dries, it's a little bit on the sticky side. So I will probably put either, um, my, like my favorite lipstick or lip gloss over it just because that feeling I'm really picky about that. But another, I do like this look though. I like the color and I'm excited to try the lighter one too. Um, this is a, yeah, it's a fun color. It's a fun pop of pink and you could definitely put a berry over it or a ballerina, pink ballerina or a blush nude. I mean, you could put anything over it to adjust the color and make it more purple, more pink, more berry, tone it down, neutralize it a little bit. Um, but I do, I do like it a lot and I could see this being great as a lip liner as well. And that's what I was going to tell you. It has a pencil sharpener. How cool is that? So it has a pencil sharpener specifically for this sized crayon for you to be able to use. So that is our collection. I hope that you will give this a try. It's really, really pretty. Can you see? All right. So these three are pretty much matte. And then this is the shimmer. And so if you wanted more shimmer, you can just do like a little layer over the whole eye if you wanted to. And then this is with eyeliner and this is without eyeliner. So you decide you get to play with it. Oh, and on here and in our lookbook, it does show, see, here's three different skin tones with three different styles of application, you know, the different colors in different ways on different skin tones. So that's really fun too. So be on the lookout, check out um, our group, you know, all of the fun things that we're going to continue to post with these shades in our groups. You can go to marykay.com with your consultant's address. Mine is marykay.com forward slash rdanforth. Um, you can go to Facebook, Instagram, and you will see these colors on lots of different people that are just having fun playing with it. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments with your feedback, any questions, and go out there and have a blessed Monday. Bye-bye.